What can you do if one of your YouTube videos gets flagged for copyright? I will share what I've done with you and continue to update you on my channel as I go through the process. First, let me say, having this just happened to me, the copyright standing hurts. If you see your account under status and features and you see bad standing with a copyright strike, it hurts. You're liable to be pissed off, frustrated, sad, hurt, or just raving angry. I had a huge emotional response out of this. And I hope what I can share with you is that that is the single worst part of this is the emotional response that comes with it. It hurts. I've had a YouTube channel over four years now and it really hurts to get a copyright strike to know that someone went in and took the time to try and destroy my YouTube channel because of something they didn't like in one of my videos. It hurts and I'd love to know what I could do not to have it happen again in the future. The thing is, I don't know almost anything about what I did. I talked about a person basically, that's what I did. So I, the only thing I can think not to do is talk about them. What I'll show you is what to do next to try and get through this. So you'll see submit a counter notification on here. That's what you wanna do. Now, you might want to wait a little bit on doing that. If you're really mad or frustrated, you might wanna try and cool off a little bit because you only have around 80 characters in the counter notification. So here's the basics from YouTube. And then what you want to do is seek a retraction to get your video reinstated. Now what that does is tells YouTube that I am allowed to use this content. What you'll see once you've done that is that your video has a counter notification pending. So that's important to make sure you do that if you believe you had the right to use it. So what rights do you have to actually use a video? If you know you outright copied something, if you know, for example, you just completely copied someone else's video or song, if you know you're probably in the wrong, it's best to just let that strike expire and not submit a retraction because as you'll notice, the form requirements, this shows you what's required in the form, and I'll zoom in a little bit, you are giving the person who filed this everything they need in order to go through and file a lawsuit against you. So you must be pretty confident in the ability of you to stand up in that scenario. So the idea is you want to make very sure before you submit that you're comfortable with going forward with any problems legally. So if you know you outright copied, if you know you're completely or likely mostly in the wrong, better to just not go through and submit the form for a retraction. You can just wait for the strike to expire, which I know is forever. Six months is forever. So you, it's like a short jail or prison sentence. You can just wait for it to expire if you are pretty sure you don't want to submit all this information. If you don't want to give whoever filed this your full legal name, email, physical address, and phone number, you will not want to go through that. If you are pretty sure, as I was when I filed this and am now, I am sure I used my information in the video under fair use. What I used in the video was the same as you might see on the news to report on the current status of something and the same as you might see in criticism or a review of something. So I submitted all of this to the person that made the request because I am confident that there are no copyright issues I should have to worry about in court. Now YouTube will actually make a decision on this and YouTube will give the person who initiated it a chance to withdraw. 
So you also want to try and contact the person directly and work out a solution with them. That's the second thing you can do. If you can actually contact them, that's ideal. So I did that also. If you know you're in the wrong, contacting them is a great idea because then you don't have to submit all this. You can just say, look, I'm sorry. You know, I'll make whatever restitution you want. Please take this back and I will not mess with your content again. You might be forgiven in that instance. So it's tough to work through this, especially the emotion. When you put your heart and soul into your YouTube channel, the emotion that will come into having something like this, especially losing access to longer videos, losing access to external annotations, using access to live events and unlisted and private videos, it really hurts and can ruin your YouTube channel. So if you've never got a copyright notification filed, the best thing you can do is just make sure you never outright copy anyone's content. And if you ever tag people in your videos, if you go through when you're tagging people in your videos in the tagging section, be careful about who you put. This is not the video that got removed, but I'm just showing you where the tagging is just to make sure we're on the same page. Make sure you don't tag anyone you would not want to be looking at your video or who might get offended by watching your video because the copyright process on YouTube can be used punitively. The person stands to lose very little by getting your video removed from YouTube and if you don't submit that counter notification and they submitted a false copyright against you, they can simply do this to your channel as long as they're willing to submit the information to YouTube and stand up to possible repercussions. So if you have made enemies with someone, they can easily go hurt you this way. And I would pray that that doesn't happen to anyone here. And if that does happen, then you want to make sure that you don't tag. You want to avoid having it happen again. If you haven't had it happen yet, Avoid tagging or writing about anyone that you may have mentioned in passing in the video that you wouldn't want to come take out a punitive action on your channel. I hope watching this is helpful for you. To know that other people are suffering through this, I am grateful I have a pretty big channel, an established channel, millions of views, thousands of subscribers, this happens all over YouTube. It doesn't just happen to you. It doesn't just happen to me. It happens to lots of people on YouTube. So I hope by sharing this with you, you can have the strength to go forward with whatever it is you're going to do. If you are sure, if you're certain or fairly certain, your content does not violate copyright and you're willing to go through the legal process, then submit a counter notification. If you're not sure, or you can just wait it out. You can simply wait it out and then go back to what you were doing before with your enabling on your account. However, you still, no matter what, will want to stay away from anything you can possibly do to provoke someone or to overlap with another person. If you are sure and you want to submit the form, be ready to submit your contact info, your full legal name, your physical address, your phone number. You must agree that you consent to this statement by YouTube and you must attribute your signature to it. So this is the process. It's not so mysterious now. And I hope I can share with you a little inspiration at a time you might be considering as dark or struggling or that you might be really frustrated with. So if this has happened to you, this is what you can do about it, and I hope this video will help you and me feel a little bit better about what's happening with a, an existing or a pending or a past or a possible future copyright strike. Thank you for watching this, and I appreciate the time you spent here with me.